drink your drink in the next video. Welcome back guys. Today we figured that we would answer some questions that we've been getting about our solar equipment. So we're going to just take you through uh, each item and say how much it costs and where we got it from, give you an idea of what the overall system cost us. Yeah, just kind of a rough estimate. So that way, if anybody out there wants to do something similar, you can. All right, to start off, where we get our power is these 12 235 watt hand wall solar panels. I bought them from alt-e-store.com uh, and the, uh, they, don't, uh, they don't actually sell these anymore. But I paid uh, $99 a panel. What? And so I mean $1,200 for 12 solar panels. And then if you come around, we got our uh, combiner box for all the PV panels. I bought uh, roughly, I think it's 30 feet of extra PV cable. Um, and uh, a couple 15 amp uh, PV breakers. With a grand total, with all the, just those, we spent uh, 1780, I believe it is. Is that what it was? Yeah, 1780. And it's now, all from that place. And it is all from Alti, the Alti store. Uh, that being said, we also paid for freight shipping, so that was four hundred dollars. So that's included in that seventeen hundred dollar price. And everything that we're going to, all the prices that we're going to tell you, are including what it was to ship to us. All right. And next up is our DIY homemade. Uh, solar mount we made this with just available parts that you can get from any home repair store for uh, so all the lumber the concrete the mounting brackets the super strut all of that that cost us one thousand and sixty two dollars and the reason why we went with this opposed to a off-the-shelf type uh, solar ground mount kit is because one we wanted something that anybody could do and uh, and get at pretty much any home improvement store but two was cost I mean we spent that thousand one thousand sixty two dollars but I mean we would uh we would have spent way more than that and that thousand sixty two also includes like the conduit all the wiring that uh, goes from the combiner box to inside the hut, the uh, copper grounding wire, like literally everything out here with the exception of the solar panels and the combiner box. All right, so we have seven uh, smart car battery modules. They're, <clears throat> they're out of the uh, Mercedes smart car and the Tesla Roadster, I believe is what they're out of. I bought them on eBay. They're uh, from a seller called Green Tech Auto. And I paid roughly, I want to say at the time, it was like 500 or 525, somewhere in there was the average I paid for them. And also, I, I gotta say, I, I bought them separately. Like, I, I should have bought them all together at one time, but I was kind of, uh, didn't make the smartest decision. Like, I was like, oh, look, I can get away with this X Mount 3. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should add two more. And then I'm like, oh, I should add three more. So I paid for shipping every single time, which was $200 freight shipping. So that kind of was a $600 or actually $400 mistake. Ow! So in total, the the uh, batteries cost us $4,400. Cable wires, I bought 25 feet of a black and a red strands uh, cable wire. And also I bought a pack of 50 of the copper lugs. In total, I spent $174 on 25 feet of wire. So actually 50 feet in total of two gauge copper wire, welding wire, and a pack of 
50 copper lugs. And I got it all from uh, eBay. All right, next up, the charge controller, the junction box, which combines everything, and the inverter, and also the uh, control panel or control display. In total, we spent $2,753, and I bought them all from the Alt E store. I would have to say the inverter was the most expensive part on there. I believe that was at $1,700. But it's a inverter that's going to last, you know. I was going to say, obviously, money well spent. Yeah, money well spent. Yeah. The AC disconnect, it's a actually meant for a air conditioner. It's a 60 amp AC disconnect going to our breaker box. So <clears throat> our breaker box and our 30 amp breaker. So in total, these three things were $104 and you can get them at any, uh, any home improvement store. So the grand total cost of our entire solar system has been $10,273. Now keep in mind, like Spencer was saying, we did kind of mess up a little bit and not order all of our batteries all at once because we were unsure about a couple of things. So you could avoid some extra costs with shipping if you just ordered it all together, obviously. But Yeah, I did that with that and also with the, uh, I should have ordered the inverter, all that stuff at the same time as the solar panels. So that would have saved me probably another 100 or 200 dollars. Yeah, so you could definitely do this with these materials for under $10,000. Oh yeah, definitely. I know that sounds like a lot of money, but if you really think about it, I mean, for us back home, we had a smaller home and our electricity bill was around $75 a month, which comes out to $900 a year on average is what, what it was. And so having this system, yeah, it's a big upfront cost, but after around 11 years, you don't ever like you've paid it off you know what i mean you don't it's like you're never paying for power again yeah and it's it's stable it's like you don't have to worry about the grid anymore so you you don't have to worry about like if your power goes out when is it going to come back on that's one thing that we were very subject to in florida oh yeah was power outages especially during hurricane seasons and i mean power went out pretty randomly i would say probably at least once every other month we'd have a right. power outage. Something else to kind of just keep in mind is that we both actually worked in the service industry back home. You know, we didn't have some crazy six figure job or something. We literally, we worked in restaurants, we saved up our money for years, we sold our home and used that money and that's how we're doing all of this. So my point is, is that if we can do it with those circumstances, I'm sure a lot of you have even better circumstances that you could figure it out if you really wanted to. It may take some time, but you have to start somewhere. So we'll link down below the our some of our previous videos, the DIY solar panel ground mount, and also the videos on me wiring the entire system. So if that's something that interests you, we'll have the links down below in the description.